Welcome to the very first video of the lecture series on digital electronics. Digital electronics is a fundamental subject for electrical and computer engineers. If you are planning to have your career in VLSI industry, then you should have very clear understanding of digital concepts. This particular lecture is all about introduction to digital concepts. Today digital technology is applied in a wide range of applications. This slide lists few among them. We find digital electronics in computers, television, communication systems, radar, military systems, navigation and guidance systems, industrial process control and widely in consumer electronics. Digital technology has progressed from vacuum tube circuits to discrete transistors to complex integrated circuits. Some of the integrated circuits contain millions of transistors within them. Electronic circuits can be divided into two broad categories. First one is digital and the other one is analog. Digital electronics involves quantities with discrete values, whereas analog electronics involves quantities with continuous values. The real world however is analog. Most things that can be measured quantitatively occur in nature in analog form. For example, position, velocity, acceleration, force, sound, temperature, pressure, all are analog in nature. During a given day, the temperature does not go from say 70 degree Fahrenheit to 71 degree Fahrenheit instantaneously. It takes on all the infinite values in between. If we would graph the temperature on a typical summer day, we would have a smooth continuous curve as shown in this figure. Rather than graphing the temperature on a continuous basis, suppose we would take a temperature reading every hour. Now we have sampled values representing the temperature at discrete points in time on hourly basis. So, we have effectively converted an analog quantity that is temperature here to a form that can now be digitized by representing each sampled value by a digital code. This slide shows some of the advantages of digital over analog. First one can be processing of digital data is efficient than processing of analog data and the transmission of digital data is more reliable than analog transmission. Digital data is easier to be stored, it is highly accurate and clear, programmability is easier, digital is more immune to noise and the fabrication of digital circuit in integrated circuit form is easier. Let us take an example to understand an analog system first. The figure which is shown in this slide is a public address system which is used to amplify sound so that it can be heard by a large audience. The original sound waves which are analog in nature are picked up by a microphone as can be seen in the figure. And this sound wave is converted to a small analog voltage by this microphone and these analog voltage are called audio signal. This voltage varies continuously as the volume and frequency of the original sound wave changes. This voltage signal is applied to the input of a linear amplifier. 
the amplifier reproduces the input voltage signal with increased amplitude at its output. This amplified signal goes to the speaker. The speaker changes the amplified audio signal back to sound waves that have a much greater volume than the original sound waves picked up by the microphone. Now this particular figure shows a CD player which is an example of a system in which both digital and analog circuits are used. Music in digital form is stored on the compact disc which we call as CD in short form. A laser diode optical system picks up the digital data from the rotating disc and transfers it to the digital to analog converter. The digital to analog converter changes the digital data into an analog signal that is an electrical reproduction of the original music. This signal is amplified and sent to the speaker which converts the amplified electrical signal to the original sound wave with higher volume. When the music was originally recorded on the CD, a reverse process using an analog to digital converter was performed. This slide shows the basic outline of the lecture series. We will start with the number system, then we will cover Boolean algebra, combinational logic, sequential logic, logic families and we will conclude this lecture series with semiconductor memories. These are few books which will be followed for this particular lecture series. So this is all about the first lecture which is introduction to digital concept. Next lecture we will start with the number system. Hope you have liked this video. Give your opinion about the video and the lecture series in the comment section. If you feel that this video will help any of your friend then do share this video. If you want to watch the other videos in this lecture series then subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon for the notifications. Thank you for watching.